All right, here we go. Uh, Brandy Rhodes is in the ring. <laughs> so did you, I think you didn't like it. Dude, I'm just baffled. Like, Cody, everyone hates him, but he won't turn heel in his own words. But Brandy's his wife, and everyone hates her, So, but she turned heel before she even got booed here. The first thing she does is say, like, hello, Cleveland. Oh, wait, I'm in Chicago. Whatever, they're all cold. And it was not a fuck up. It's what she meant to say. She healed on these fans, the fans in Cleveland, the entire Midwest. So, of course, she's getting booed. Out comes Dan Lambert. He accuses her of having a fake accent and fake tits. He says, you are getting booed out of this ring next to, next to a rich, angry, old, conservative, AEW-hating white guy like me. <laughs> Made me laugh. So, Brandy says something about... She says they only signed Ethan Page so they could get Josh Alexander. Well, if that fails, we may as well fire him then. That makes your company look dumb. She starts to rattle off Lambert's accomplishments, but the crowd hates her so much, they're telling her to shut the fuck up. And so she antagonizes them. She was a heel in this segment. That can't be denied. She's going off about Jake Paul and Amanda. In her, in her way she put it, Amanda Nunez. I, Actually, that is how you're supposed to pronounce it. Okay. Yes. I don't know if she's making fun of it or not. Uh, no. She calls his team American top tits. I, I guess that's a shot at Nunez. I don't fucking know. No, it's a shot at uh, Paige Van Zandt. Okay, well, she was out yet. Well, yeah, but she's been on TV multiple times. She has, all right. So Lambert starts running by heels and face turns and being turned face down, and she finally slaps him, and this is such a pathetic slap. <laughs> she was so light with him. So he says, a lot of people like to slap you. I'm not going to do it. I got more to do here before, they, I, before I get canceled. So here comes Paige Van Zandt. She comes out. And here comes all the women to separate them. This sucked. This <laughs> fucking sucked. Okay, listen. I'm not going to say that this was good, all right? I'm not going to say it was good. But here's the thing. I believe that what they're trying to do here is... And this I got to hear. Okay. Because I, I have no idea. All right. I believe that what they are trying to do here is a Jerry Springer, Okay. So you watch the Jerry Springer show, and uh, this bloke didn't pay his child support. And then this lady, I don't know. This is a great sales pitch. Well, great, great analogy. The point is, the point is, you never on Jerry Springer see like, oh, this person's clearly the good person, and this other person's the despicable person. Right. It's usually this person's despicable. These people are all assholes. The other person's despicable. Yeah. And you just want to see... The analogy I made today on uh, Observer Live was when Granny was reviewing the Roman Reigns Brock Lesnar feud, and I knew she hated both guys. And so I say, Well, who do you want to win this one, Granny? And she goes, I hope they kill each other. All right. Uh -huh. I think that's what they're going for here. I see. Brandy is absolutely, you're supposed to hate Brandy. You're supposed to hate Lambert. And it's two people that you're supposed to hate that you want to see both kill each other. And listen. Uh, there were problems upon problems with this segment. But at the end of the day, when Paige Van Zant came out and she went after Brandy and the women came out, the fans did chant, let them fight. So if whatever they're doing, if these fans want to see him wrestle and they're going to pay to see him fight at the pay-per-view, whatever. That's it. I mean, it's not like they came out and neither of them got a reaction and the fans just like didn't want to see it. I mean, they both got a big reaction, and the fans wanted to see the women fight. So I can't say that it was like a horrible fail of a segment. But, I mean, I'm not going to disagree with anything that you said. It was a horrible fail of a segment. Hey, girl, how was your New Year's? Oh, it was so much fun. Brooks and I put our boots on, and we did a little Texas two-step. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Daddy, these girls are so ew. Um, who are you? I'm Wendy Chu. And why are you looking at me like a ham sandwich? Wendy who? Ham sandwich? <laughs> Wendy Chu? Then it ends. Bro, that was like easily a thousand times better than what they did. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.